All right, guys, today we are going to be talking about some fun fidgety knives that I honestly, when I EDC these knives, I end up fidgeting with them a lot and opening them, closing them, and just playing around with them. And some of them are easier to fidget with, some not so much, but today I thought I would do, uh, these are, but today I thought I'd cover like five knives that are really fidgety for me and I have a lot of fun just playing with when I am just sitting there, you know, uh, trying to think about something, maybe write something, just playing with these knives in the background. So these are five fidget knives for me and let's talk about them. So the first one for me and probably the most fidgety of them all, of course, is an OTF and this is a Microtech Ultratech. This one is the one that I do EDC. I do have another double-edged variant, but I don't really EDC that one as much because it's more self-defense kind of ask. But this little guy here, this little guy here is just, like I said, a Microtech Ultratech full-sized. Only thing I've done to it is I did reprofile that beautiful LMAX edge, gave it a light mirror polish. I'm not a really big fan of making my uh, blades super polished. Um, I just like them to be super functional and very, very sharp. So that is what I did to this one. And of course, as you guys can probably see and hear, this thing is just fun to fidget with. Now this one, I don't end up fidgeting with too much because the redesign on this um, kind of slider is actually pretty darn aggressive so it will tear up your thumb if you sit there and do that too long but that is the first one and of course a really fun knife to fidget with the microtech ultratech and really otfs as a whole are very fidgety knives because you just can keep sending them and retracting them back another one i end up fidgeting with a lot is a flipper and there's actually a couple flippers on this um, list but the first one is the zt04 562. This one, of course, is the carbon fiber version. And this guy it just has such a good deployment and such a strong um, detent that it's so reliable and easy to flip. Of course, this one's also on IKBS ball bearings, so it does flip out just fine. And you know, you're going to get it pretty much every time. This one is just another really fun knife to fidget with. This one is also, again, another knife that I did reprofile. I got this one used and uh, it came with a pretty roughed out edge. It kind of was chipped and it still is a little bit chipped in certain areas, but this is another one that I polished out and actually put, I think an 18 or a seven to 17 or 18 degree per side angle. And uh, just made it really nice. You guys can see there, once again, another dull mirror polished finish and uh, just another really pretty blade. And I do really like how well this uh, CPM 20 CV took an edge, but this is more fidget factor stuff. So yeah, this is uh, one of my more fun fidget knives and it is pretty fun to just sit there and play with because of course you can open and close it one-handed just like that. So that is the next one up on the list. Aside from that too, another one that I don't EDC too, too often, but the Benchmade bug out here is another great fidgety knife because it just for me with the axis lock, how lightweight and how thin this blade is, it just fires out like a laser beam and it is so crazy. It almost feels like an auto some days because of how fast it fires out. But uh, like I said, this is just a really fun fidgety blade because you can just sit there and do this for hours, just the same repetitive motion. And uh, yeah, it's just a lot of fun to play with and uh, just to use. And of course, like I said, this is a Blade HQ exclusive version with 20 CV blade and of course the JG10. So super fidgety. Um, the axis lock, of course, in and of itself is very fidgety because it is very, you know, smooth, very uh, clean to open. But this guy just flies right out. Even if you give it just a little bit of pressure, it still flies right out. So that is the Benchmade 535 bug out. Okay, next one up on the list is going to be the other flipper for me, and this is a Hinderer XM18 uh, full-sized. And the way that, or the reason why this one ended up on the list is my Hinderer flippers don't actually tend to be too fidgety like my 3-inch XM18, but this one is on skiff ball bearings, so aftermarket um, uh, ball bearing on aftermarket ball bearings, and it is incredible incredibly smooth. Uh, you guys can see by the action, it, this is a drop shut knife and this doesn't have any um, assist to it. This guy is just super, super smooth. So it is so fun to open this one up and it's hard to describe just how clean this knife feels in its pivot action, but that's my reason why I love to play it with it is because it is just so incredibly clean. Like it really drops shut, very clean and just a very nice uh, blade action as a whole. 
But uh, yeah, so this one's just super clean, super easy to use. And once again, similar to the 0462 or sorry, 562, uh, just a very, very fidgety uh, flipper that is just super smooth, super easy to open and close. And I just love how high end it feels because it is because it is a higher end knife. So that is the 560. <laughs> That is the Hinder XM18 3 inch. Of course, this is my purple one. So I really do love that blade, and that's why it's so fidgety. Next one up on the list, and the last one is my CRK Pilar. Now, this is a large Pilar with uh, the aftermarket carbon fiber type or titanium carbon fiber scale on it. So this one is a little bit more high end, and this one is also modded. This did used to be, or if you buy a Pilar, they are technically flippers, but this one was modified as you guys can see here hopefully uh, that the flipper nub or tab, whatever you'd like to call it, was ground off. And so it is now just a standard opening blade. And you can open it traditionally like I just showed, but this knife is just really fun to spidey flick. This is one of my favorite knives to spidey flick um, of all my spidey flickable knives because this one is also on caged ball bearings because this one's also on caged ball bearings, similar to two others on this list. And of course, with ball bearings, they are very, very smooth. So it is an incredibly fast opening and really easy opening knife and uh, just absolutely fun to play with. It's just fun to flip and open, close, wash, rinse, and repeat. So this is one of those knives that is just super nice, super fun to use, and very uh, fidgety, if you will. It also is just a really nice looking knife, in my opinion. I really like the way that these little pilars look, or I say large. This is uh, one of the larger size pilars. So it's not necessarily small, but yeah, just a really fantastic little blade. And the fact that these guys are so budget means that the barrier to entry to a pilar is very low. So anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you enjoyed looking at these fun fidgety knives. And as always, guys, God bless and I'm out.